They're big. They're hairy. They're... Dogs. If you've ever ventured into the art department on a Thursday or a Friday, chances are you've encountered one of these gentle giants, six-year-old Tucker or his smaller four-year-old sister Ellie. But why are these massive canines here? Tucker and Ellie are certified therapy dogs, coming into school to interact with students. Mrs. Weber, their owner and handler, was the one who began this practice. Um, four years ago, I, was, I brought them in a couple of, I just Tucker, I should say both of them, um, a couple times just to visit in my classrooms. And then the second year, I got permission from Dr. Cooper to, to, kind, to have them in the classroom and do a little bit of research as to how they affected lear the learning environment. You can usually find Tucker or Ellie lounging in Weber's art classes, getting love from students or treats from faculty. But that isn't all they do. The pups make their way from the art department over to room 514, otherwise known as the reading room. There, students read to them in the same way they read to the teacher or the peers to practice. But why read to a dog? They feel really comfortable around him and they read a lot more fluently when they're reading to the dog because there's no fear of judgment and they can just sit there and be calm and they enjoy his company. I dislike when he comes in every time because if I'm sad, he'll make my day. Well, it's like you're pretty much laying next to a big teddy bear while you read and slobbers on you. Not only do Tucker and Ellie assist with reading, but they also make their way over to Life Skills room and work with the students there. Marty! Oh, Tucker, But what does it take for a dog to become certified? It isn't an easy process, that's for sure. I started off in a somewhat of a formal canine good citizen class and then the rest of the training is pretty much the dogs being socialized and me being out and around people and I did a lot of classwork with Tucker by the time Ellie came along and I decided that I wanted to get her into therapy as well I, pre I, I knew some of the things that I needed to do so I did a lot of that on my own however both of them had to be tested through Therapy Dog International, and there are several um, therapy, dog therapy groups, but this is the one that I tested through, and it's a pretty stringent test. Stringent indeed. The dogs were required to make it calmly through being separated from Weber, being surrounded by loud noises similar to that of a hospital situation, not going near or trying to take food around them, as well as obeying basic commands in these situations. Despite these hardships, however, Tucker and Ellie made it through just fine, and now they're here with us, fully certified, bringing an extra burst of joy to the end of everyone's week, student and teacher alike. What do you have to say, Tucker? Thank you for that. This has been Michaela Cave reporting.